Let's go to Kenya now. Surrogacy is a stigmatised issue there. There are no specific laws that focus on the issue. And it was not until recently that the country's health ministry launched a reproductive health policy. But some communities have an unconventional approach towards surrogacy, like the Kamba in eastern Kenya. Grace Kuria Kanja visited a family to find out more. Kaleche lives in Kitui County in eastern Kenya. She is a surrogate and is part of Mule Jones, the matriarch's household. In this community, she is considered to be her wife. They are not legally married and their relationship is platonic. I went looking for her, the way a man going to seduce a woman does. We talked and she agreed. Both these women are part of the Kamba community, which readily accepts and acknowledges these kinds of arrangements. The Kamba believes surrogacy is acceptable if a woman is unable to get pregnant or bear sons. Not having sons is a big issue in this society. Mule, who has a husband, has seven daughters and three sons, but unfortunately lost all three sons. This prompted her to look for a surrogate. Since she could not have children, I was the one who would give birth on her behalf. So we agreed. The children she wants, I will give birth to them. The Kamba have clear guidelines. Kaleche's role, like all surrogate partners, is to give birth to children. She's not allowed to have sexual relations with any member of the household. The surrogate is encouraged to meet someone unconnected to the household in order to get pregnant. In vitro fertilization is not an option, as it is not affordable. Find someone to stay with, and don't let me know who he is. I told her not to let any man spend the night here. If she's doing her business, by 5 a.m. she should be done. There are no specific laws that regulate surrogacy in Kenya, but the Kenyan Health Ministry launched a reproductive health policy in July. In the recently launched uh, reproductive health policy, there is uh, a section that talks about surrogacy. But what uh, essentially the policy says is uh, one, we recognize surrogacy as a, as a means of, of reproduction. And we also want to protect the, in, the, 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 the citizens of the country against uh, exploitation uh, for commercial interests. Surrogacy is stigmatized for several reasons. The, the stigma comes from the lack of understanding of this uh, emerging technology. Um, and then the, the, the perception that carrying someone else's child is unnatural, which can be perceived as ungodly, immoral, and unethical, especially for very conservative uh, nations such as ours. There have been several bills put forward to regulate the process, but none have been passed. The Assisted Reproductive Technology Bill of 2019 is still going through Parliament. It aims to regulate the rights of individuals relating to assisted reproductive technology. It's important that we as uh, citizens of this nation uh, push our lawmakers to, to debate this bill and get it passed. Until there are specific surrogacy laws put in place, families are forced to work within the current framework. Grace Kuria Kanja, BBC, Nairobi.